Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a really fun skincare demo video. We are gonna compare luxury skincare Erno Laszlo mask versus Innisfree <laughs> budget friendly mask. We're gonna do it on both sides of my face and to compare the result. And let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna do um, Erno Laszlo on this side of my skin and Innisfree on this side. We're gonna show you a before picture and after the mask, we're gonna show you the after in both and see which one is better, okay? So now let's mix this mask together. Um, the Erno Laszlo mask comes with the liquid, the powder, the spatula, and you're gonna need a container. I'm using the plastic cup because I don't have to worry about to clean them. Okay, so I just opened this. I should do this in front of you guys, but that's okay. Okay, so you can see there's a lot of powder in here. And this is actually a magnesium uh, carbohydrate. It's organic salts, basically. And with other ingredients, we're going to put this in, in the cup completely. It has a, a really uh, light pink colors. Not sure if you can see it from the camera. So I'm going to just drop everything in there. Okay, and then we're gonna pour the liquid inside the mask. So I'm gonna do that. And the liquid, I just look at the ingredient list. It's really just kind of like a toner. It's nothing really special. So I think that um, I may do an experiment, maybe mix with other liquid uh, to see what this works. So we're gonna just mix this together and be kind of like a gelatin consistency. And then we're gonna put it on the face, and this is gonna dry as a mold. Um, so it's not the sheet mask. Um, and honestly, this particular mask is not a new product. I think they launched it back in 2013. So it's an older technology, but apparently mixing your own mask is so popular right now. Um, that's why I think that I wanna give a try for this one. Erno Laszlo is one of the old skincare brand in the US. So you can definitely trust the brand because they've been in the business for a very long time. So I feel like missing a cake batter. Ooh, maybe we can do a cupcake. It does look like a cupcake a little bit. See that? Ta-da! So we're now going to apply this uh, batter on my face. I think you need to do this very quickly because I was filming this and I feel it's kind of th uh, thickening already. There's really no much smells in there. Oh my god. It looks like somebody threw out on my face, I swear. It's kind of gross though, but that's okay. We do anything for beauty, right? Put this right here. You know, I love when I, uh, if you go on the Erno Lasso website and look at how the model applied this, it's like so effortless. But when I do it, it's like all over my face. It's so weird. This uh, badge, it should be enough for the uh, entire face. But, you know, since I'm doing half face, so I don't want to waste this, I want to put in a lot on my skin. Guys, you know, leave a comment below if you've done masks like this before. I would love to hear your feedback and what do you like and what you don't like about this. And also, I want to say something real quick. I'm putting the entire face uh, uh, only half of the skin. So that means the ingredient will be definitely double. So the result can be a little bit stronger than just putting on one entire face. So just keep in mind on that, okay? okay. Even though I think it's a little messy, but it's not dripping or anything like that. Oops, <laughs> drop this. So it should be okay. Okay, so this is gonna take about 10, 15, 15 minutes to dry, so let's move on to the Innisfree mask now. Okay, so for the Innisfree, uh, this is called my topping mask. I got this from New York City in the store. And there's two option base. You can pick the creamy base or the clay. And a different is creamy is going to be more hydration. Clay is going to be more detoxifying and for oily skin. Since we're doing the hydrating, so I'm going to use the creamy base. And then you can pick your topping. There's, I think, six or seven more. And, um, so I'm gonna use the tangerine because the tangerine one is all about create um oh wait. Hold on. Yes, I wanna do tangerine because the tangerine mask it helps to 
uh, create a brighter and clear skin so because the hydrating and brightening so it's very similar like the um or no last little one so it's a little coffee cup it's so cute so let me just open and show you guys so okay so first I do like the individual pad like this because I just feel like I don't need to uh, pour product in different packaging to mix that so but I had to tell you that this price is much more affordable than the uh, Arnold Laszlo one. And I can't even open this. Oh wait, there's a sticker right here. That's a very poor design because when you have this kind of sticker, you can't even open the packet. So they really need to think about the packaging design. You see, now it's easy. Okay, so you can see there's also powder in there. So we're going to just pour it in the base. Let me smell this. It does not smell like tangerine at all. <laughs> okay, because there's no, uh, what do you, it didn't come with the spatula, so I'm going to use the Arnold Laszlo one. And of course, when you're buying this is only for a couple dollars, I mean, they're not, they not going to give you a lot of tools. But when you buy Arnold Laszlo, it is a luxury skincare, so it comes a lot more tool. So honestly, I mean, if you pay for the money, you're going to get more tool and supply. That's just how I see it. And um, I actually went on the Arnold Analer, the Ines Free website to check this product out. I can't find this product in the website, which I don't understand, so I can't give you too much information about this. Um, I got this in New York about a month ago, so I, I mean, I'm, I, I don't know why it's not in the website. Okay, so you see the difference, so Arnold last one is a powder and this is the creamy base, and you mix the ingredient, and we're going to put this on my skin. Alright, so this is the Arnold Lassino one. Also, no smell, so this is the Innis Free one, so we're gonna just uh, put on the skin. So the paste, you can see the difference. This is a creamy, but I have to say something real quick though. The Arnold Lassino mask is a molding mask, that means it's gonna dry as a um, mold, so I can peel off. And this one is just a cream mask, so it is a different consistency. But it is both mixing. So it's considered both DIY, a slightly DIY. And once again, this is enough for entire face, but I'm only doing half the face. So I'm using a lot on my skin. Can you guys hear Scarlett? She's right there. Scarlett's my producer. She produced all my video. So that's good. Just don't waste the product. So you can see it's, a, it's all gone. So the measurement of the amount is a very accurate. Just so you guys know, anytime you're doing any type the um, hydrating mask, you can get close around the eye area. That's totally fine because it's not detoxified, it's not going to dry the skin. Okay, so we're going to wait for a few more minutes and we're going to rinse it off and show you before, I mean show you the after. Okay, so I just rinsed it off with water now. Um, so all my skin is nothing just right after the mask. So you can see this is with the Arnold Laszlo, this is with the Innes Free. So I'm going to stand still so you can see my before and after image. Okay, so I really don't see that much difference. Arnold Laszlo is $80 for four pack and Innes Free, I don't, I forgot how much I pay for that, but I believe the base is like a four dollar. The mixed powder is maybe two dollars, so it's less than ten dollars. Um, so I mean, I mean, it's a little, little bit brighter here from the camera, I can see, but for the price difference, I don't know, I'm not too impressed. And especially when I peel off the mask, it's like all over the floor, which I was not happy. I'm not sure I did it wrong, but you know, we'll see. Anyway, um, let me know your feedback on these two masks. Which one do you like better? Or you have already tried this mask, let me know your feedback too. I want to say thank you so much for continuing to support my YouTube channel. And oh, don't forget to check out all my social media right here, especially Instagram. Follow my Instagram and check out my Instagram story. And of course, subscribe my YouTube channel. Like it, give me a thumbs up and share the video. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!